After numerous leaks and rumors, Huawei silently launched the Huawei Mate 60 Pro smartphone in China. As Huawei's most important premium series, it has never been so low profile. But the news of silent sales blow up on the Chinese internet. This is the first time Huawei has brought a 5G phone with its own Kirin chip since it was hit with a ban. So is this Mate 60 Pro in my hand announcing that Huawei's high-end phones have broken through all the technological walls and are now completely self-researching and self-producing? Unfortunately, there's very little information that can be confirmed and we still can't draw any conclusions here. But we can still take a look at this Huawei Mate 60 Pro that's back on the road and maybe we will get some answers. Today we will do a brief unboxing and a performance showcase, later we will update a detailed review video, so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel, it really means a lot to us. The box is also low profile without fancy details, all we learn from it is that it's the Huawei Mate 60 Pro, featuring Quinlan glass with a good shock resistance, powered by the X-Mage camera system and Harmony OS. The software is a bit different from those global variants of Huawei phones running on even UI, later we will check it out. The smartphone bundles high-end features and a circular camera module on the rear side. The 12GB plus 512GB storage variant is retailing via Huawei store in China for 6999 yuan which is roughly translate to $960. Huawei Mate 60 Pro is available in 4 different color options, green, silver, purple and black. The model in my hand is a silver variant. The phone has a unique construction with a metal unibody that extends from the frame to the lower half of the back, while the upper half is a piece of shock-resistant Quinlan glass with a matte finish. The overall stitching transition is wonderfully done. The camera island returns to the classic Mate 40 series design. Personally, I think it's the best appearance design language from Huawei. I'm happy to see this big ring coming back in Huawei's returning work. At the center, it's a symbol of Huawei's proud X-Mage camera system instead of Leica logo. It houses a triple rear camera module featuring a 50 megapixel primary sensor with OIS capability, a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and a 48 megapixel telephoto OIS lens that supports 3.5x optical zoom and 100x digital zoom. The rear camera supports a variable aperture. The X Mage camera system supports Super Night Mode, Super Macro, Macro PIP, Pro Mode, Slow Motion, Multi Camera, and AI Photography Mode. Further, it includes a 4D predictive focus tracking for faster capture. Now turn it over, there's a 13 megapixel camera with HDR support for selfies and video calling. Actually, it got triple punched holes with a 3D depth lens featuring 3D face recognition. But visually, it supports the constant effect that what we've seen on iPhone's dynamic island. The display is a bit wider than most flagships, but it's well-built gentle edges make it still comfortable to hold. While it only has one speaker on the frame, it can utilize the earpiece opening above the front camera to construct a stereo sound. There's no headphone jack, but infrared remote and NFC are well supported. The front face is a 6.82-inch OLED LTPO display with 120Hz adaptive refresh rate and 1440Hz PWM dimming. The resolution is great and visually is pretty stunning with a wider size. It is well protected with Huawei's shock-resistant Quinlan glass. As we mentioned before, the phone now supports the 5G network. I'm not sure if it is available in other regions since we couldn't find any official info about it, but here is our test in China. The data flow looks pretty good, so you can still trust the Huawei phones to excel at signaling. Now look at the software. The Harmony OS 4, which is a new operating system developed by Huawei as an alternative to Android, it's really not significantly different from EMUI over daily experiences such as the same UI and no Google services. But the Harmony OS is said to be faster and more responsive due to its distributed architecture which might make it step up from EMUI over performance, battery life, and security. One more feature that we could only have with the China variant is the satellite calling, but by far it's only available to China Telecom users with a dedicated satellite plan or satellite users. In the following review video, we will try to show you more about it, how it works. 
As for the most talked about performance aspect, to be honest, the new Kirin 9000S isn't able to match this year's flagship chipset such as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is probably closer to the Snapdragon 870's level, so it's not much different from the Kirin 9000 release of 3 years ago. But this is already a great success for Huawei, and it seems likely that they've managed to find an alternative foundry to TSMC in mainland China at this point, while finally bringing mobile chip production to the mainstream level. I'm sure this will cause a lot of shock and concern in the industry. The Huawei Mate 60 Pro comes with a 5000 mAh battery that supports up to 88W fast wired charging, 50W wireless charging, and 20W reverse wireless charging. It features an IP68 rating, which means it will be waterproof up to a depth of 1.5 meters for 30 minutes, and it's protected from dust. All these protecting features are without the need for extra cases or covers. The Mate 60 Pro will likely to be a milestone for the brand. The challenges it has faced in the global market may not go away, but this step has surprised a lot of people. We don't know the reason why Huawei silently put the Mate 60 Pro on the shelves yesterday. Maybe they are planning something big? Anyway, we still hope that the market can stay competitive and no player sleeps in peace. We can't wait to review this phone in depth, so stay tuned. I'm Will from China. See you soon.